Welcome to Nathan Engineering. Today we are doing an exercise based on our previous lesson, which was expansion under heat, engineering science and form. The exercise that we are doing, it's an exercise I have taken from a question paper that was written on 1 August 2019. And it reads as follows. A container with dimensions 500 millimeters times 200 millimeters times 600 millimeters at 20 degrees Celsius is heated and the temperature changes by 245 degrees Celsius. The linear coefficient of expansion of the material of the container is 12.5 times 10 to the power negative 6 per Kelvin. And then the question, they say determine each of the following. One, expansion in a length of the longest side. Two, they say increase in volume of the container. So this is the information that we are given. We are given the volume of the material. We are also given T1. And notice that they gave you T1 and they didn't give you T2. They gave you T1 and they gave you the change in temperature, which is T1, which is T2 minus T1. And then they gave you the coefficient of linear expansion. This is the material that we are dealing with. I have already inserted the, uh, the dimensions. This is 0 0.6, converted this from millimeters to meters. 0 0.6, 0 0.5, and 0 0.2, all in meters. And then the questions, they say, determine each of the following. Number one, the expansion in length of the longest side. And when we, when we look at this uh, diagram, obviously the longest side we can see that is this. Hence, the dimensions, which is 0. Point, the dimension which is 0. Uh, 0.6. The length that we are dealing with is 0.6. That is the original length. They say we must calculate for the expansion in length. It's linear expansion since we are only dealing with one dimension, which is the longest side. The change in length, we know it's given by the coefficient of linear expansion times the original length times the change in temperature. Now, we go back to our coefficient of linear expansion. Notice that our linear expansion is given per Kelvin. It's not per degree Celsius, but our temperature is in degree Celsius. So we must make it a point that these two are in the same SI unit. If we are changing this, we will have to change this to degree Celsius. But it's best if we change the change in temperature from 20, uh, 25, 245 degrees Celsius to Kelvin by adding 273, which will give us 518, 518 Kelvins. And then from here, we can put our values, which is 1, but it's 12.5 times 10 to the power negative 6 times the original length will be 0 0.6. What's the temperature difference? This is the temperature difference, which is 518. And then we get our answer as 3.885 times 10 to the power negative 3 meters. So this is the first part of the question. And then they say, determine the increase in volume of the container. Now we know that the increase in volume, this is, let's say it's one, this is two. The increase in volume is going to be the change. First, we have to calculate the change in volume, which is given by the coefficient of cubic expansion times the original volume times the change in temperature. We have 
our linear expansion therefore we can get our coefficient of cubic expansion which will be three times the linear expansion the linear expansion we are given as 12 Point five times 10 to the power negative 6 and then our volume our volume is given by this is our volume it's given by 0 0.5 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.6 which will give us 0 0.06 cubic meters this is our original volume then our original our um, change in temperature we already know that our change in temperature and it should be in kelvin still it's 518 if i'm not mistaken yes kelvin we have our coefficient of cubic expansion we have our original volume we also have our change in volume now we put on the values this is three times the linear expansion which is three times 12.5 times 10 to the power negative 6 times the original volume which is 0 0.06 times our change in temperature which is 518 and this will give us our change in volume which will be 1 1.16 Five, 5 times 10 to the power negative 3 meters cubic meters this is our change in volume yeah that's what they said we must calculate increase in volume yeah this is what they are asking from us i thought they were looking for the final volume and yeah this is the end of our question they said you must calculate for the change in length of the longest side this is how we go about calculating it changing volume this is how we do it you must remember to change this you must remember to calculate this from our linear expansion get the original volume and remember this and our the unit the SI unit of our linear expansion and the SI unit of our temperature should be the same and yeah we will do the second question which i've taken from my question i've taken from my test book and it reads as follow a right rectangular prism of cast iron has dimensions of 50 millimeters times 40 millimeters times 30 millimeters at 22 degrees celsius and is heated to 85 degrees celsius the coefficient of linear expansion of cast iron is 9 times 10 to the power negative 6 by Z degrees Celsius. And then the questions, they say, calculate A, the increase in volume, B, the volume at 85 degrees Celsius. That is the original volume, the final volume this is the information that we are given we are given the volume of the bar and we are given t1 and t2 we are also given the coefficient of linear expansion and then the first question they say we must calculate the increase in volume you know the increase in volume is given by the expansion the coefficient of cubic expansion times uh, the original volume times the temperature difference or the change in temperature so first the coefficient of cubic expansion is equals to three times the linear expansion which is 9.10 it's 9 times 10 to the power negative 6 and then our original volume it's given by 0 0.04 times 0 0.05 times 
zero point zero three, which will give us zero point, which will give us six times ten to the power negative five at cubic meters. Our temperature difference it's equals to T two minus T one, which will give us um, eighty five degrees minus twenty two degrees, which will give us a total of sixty three degrees. And if we look at the co the coefficient, it's in degrees. And our temperature is also in degrees. So the SI units are the same. No need for us to convert anything here. And then we go to our formula. Now we are ready to substitute. The cubic coefficient is 3 times 9 times 10 to the power negative 6. And then the volume original volume it's six times ten to the power negative five times uh, the temperature difference is 63 this will give us the change in volume of the change in volume of 1.0206 times 10 to the power negative 7 meters and then the second part of the question they say calculate the volume at 85 degrees this at what they are looking for is the original volume because we know that at 60 at uh, 85 percent our volume will be our final volume will be the original volume plus the change in volume so we will say the original volume which is 6 times 10 to the power negative 5 plus the change in volume which we have just calculated which is 1.0206 times 10 to the power negative 6 negative 7 and that will give us an answer of 6 uh, 0.01 times 10 to the power negative 5 cubic meters and that is the end of our lesson. See you on the next lesson.